guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 43 of Star Trek Pretty Curious. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Selena. Mm. Just see on her face. So freaking hot in here. Oh my god. Even <laughs> with my fan eyes. <laughs> I don't know why, but just the way that planet looked with the circle and everything in it. If any of you have played Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, there you go. <laughs> because he doesn't have a nose. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. But see, she doesn't have a long nose. She just wears the mask. I mean, but it's a possibility maybe when she takes the mask off, the lawn nose could show up. But the way it looks, it seems like she typically just has a regular old nose. <laughs> really? Hold on, wait. Even the ships have noses? Ain't that going a little too far? <laughs> I mean, hold up. Uh-huh. You know what else I'm kind of getting feels to? And this is, like, really, really weird. Hey, okay. If you've seen, oh my god, what is the name of that freaking movie that he was in? Um, it, it's The Wizard of Oz, but it's the black version of Wizard of Oz. You know how, like, whatever, if you've seen it, The, the Wiz, there we go, um, when they're in Emerald City. That's what I'm kind of getting vibes for from this. I don't know why, but just looking at it and just the way some of these characters are acting, you're just like, oh my god. Oh. 
Bueno. No, she possibly does. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's weird though, right? But it's okay. You sure about that? Dang, we like six minutes into the episode, already getting into transformation, already getting a fight scene. But you know, we gotta have. I think the reason why we're having this early is because, yes, this is the episode where she officially gets her twinkle imagination. But you know, they gotta be dramatic about this episode and they have to bring it up because it's like when it's like mm, about like six minutes from now, we're gonna have like a really dramatic moment or in the next few minutes. And the next thing you know, we're going to go, like, into this weird, maybe, flashback or something to, for her to get her twinkle imagination possible. Because this is her episode. This is part two. Which, still, I still wish they just would have put these two episodes together instead of going, let's do this. Let's focus on somebody else. And then let's go back to Alina. But I, I get it. I get it. That, that's like if I cut to if I cut to did something like that, I would feel hella weird about that. I would have been like, "Are we seriously skipping out?" Or how the one show that I did last year that I didn't get to finish, um, the Catalina Layton show that I did every single week. They literally did an episode where they were like, "Here's part one. We're skipping this, and we're, we're here's a filler episode, and then here's part two. And I was like, "Hold up, wait!" And it was like the worst day ever. I was like, "Hold up, no." <laughs> Selena. The girlfriend caught her. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, told you. Yeah, but you don't have a long nose. But when you got older, people would talk about you. But that's automatically what you would assume, honey. Yeah, they would be talking about you because, number one, you're different. And that's okay to be different. You don't have to be like everybody else. You do what everybody else does. But they got little noses, too!
Well, but best girl like hold up thing. Yeah, she was gonna do that, of course. Because there's always that one time when they're like, "Hey, if I don't have everybody. I'm just gonna use it on myself." Elena, you're the only one who can stop this. But really, come on now. Because you were different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, secretly she cares about you even though you know you a villain secretly care about you because you know you matter like the issue with best girl with my best girl and dealing with eyeline <laughs> Oh. 
this episode one by click. We're almost done with it. I mean, you got like eight minutes left, but still, <laughs> it went by so quick. <laughs> Did she have a rainbow on her? Seemed like it. Come on. Well, yeah. You're still saying no? Of course. It'll take a little while. It'll take the end of the dang series for her. Because she is the only one left. Like, I once got... Uh, I got a little. I can never say his name right. Uh, what's his face is gone as well, so she's the only one who's really left. So, Elena. I feel a little bit better now. That oh, looks so good. Elena? Oh, honey. No, it's not. That's the same thing with telling someone you like them. They don't accept your love. Oh, you know love. Sharon, you needed this. There you go.
Mm-hmm. Your feelings will reach to her. It may not be now, but I mean, she was affected by it a little bit. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but it's a possibility. So, like that. There's always one. Oh my god, she's so cute. But as I was saying, I mean, Elena and her feelings towards Mr. Fates, like, it, it came across. It really did, but I mean, there's a moment where you could look at her where she seemed a little affected by it, but not too much. Like, there's a little spark inside of her. But the thing is, it's probably going to take, we, we're now 43. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So we got like six episodes left. Unless if they take a break by Christmas break, yeah, we'll, we'll probably be done by like early January, going on February. I'm guessing I'm not 100 percent sure because it's like either 48, 49 episodes. So we either have six or seven episodes left. Um, but we, you could just tell it affected her. And, I mean, honestly, Elena needed that cry. It's just, you know how one day when you are having a really, really bad day and so many people have, like, gotten a new skin, it could be several people, one person, whoever, and you just really need a good cry? Yeah, that's what she needed. A good behind cry and just letting everything out and how you feel. Or, you know, you can do what, like, some other people do. You can either listen to music and cry watch a movie and cry, TV show and cry, something and cry, you know, let it all out, or talking to someone. It's the best thing. And I'm glad that she was able to do this, and I'm finally freaking glad she got her twinkle imagination. So, who are we missing? Okay, Christmas episode would be nice. It kind of figures he would finally show up. I mean, you know, he's he's finally doing Thanos. You know, hey, let me do it by myself. Y'all have been talking way too much ish about me, so let me finally come in. But it is a little weird to see him now because I wasn't expecting him to come in episode 44. Maybe like 45 or 46 because of the fact that we are so close to the ending of the show. But not, not the Christmas episode. I was thinking like, okay, either... You know, she's going to come back again or um, his like, um, the person above, below him, I'm about to say above, he's the one who's above, uh, below him, dude in the blue, I thought he would have came again and been the villain for this week, I mean next week, and then the following week, our big bad main villain would have officially came and seen the girls. But no, I think it's interesting that they're going to actually have him come, you know, a week early. Or, you know, around the Christmas episode, because I think, what, last year's for Huggado, um, I mean, the main villain was there the whole entire time, but uh, I don't think he was 
in the Christmas episode. For, I mean, it's been a whole freaking year, but yeah, I don't think he was in the Christmas episode. But I think it's going to be really good. I really enjoyed this for Elena because this was an episode, a two-part episode that, yes, Elena freaking needed, but still hated what they did last, like, last week. And I hope they don't do it again coming into either finishing Star Twinkle or... Are going into feeling good, um, pretty here, or even in any type of show that Troll Animation or any animation company that I watch because it, it just still feels weird to be like, okay, here's part one, here's a filler as episode. Not to say that last week's episode was a filler as episode, but because of the fact is we're like, here's here's part one, here's something else, and here's part two. It's like the dynamic and the excitement that you want from that next following episode, it's not there as much. And so you're sitting here, you have to wait an extra week just to figure out what in the world could happen to a character. It's like how, um, I'm trying to think, most like mainstream anime shows that are based on mangas and stuff and how the animation company plus the manga author, um, artists and everything doing the story for it, they're either at first in the beginning, you know, the manga... <laughs> The manga author is, like, so far away, but then the anime is, like, directly at its start, but then there's a point where it coincides at the same time and, like, it's going to the point where the, uh, freaking animation studio has to make a whole entire season filler, Bleach, because Bleach did that so many times to the point where it was freaking annoying, and I was just like, I love this show so freaking much, but I hate the fillers. And then eventually, like, you're not on the same track. Or, like, what if the manga ends? And then you're gonna have to do filler all the way to the rest. Until you immediately decide, oh, hey, I now want to go ahead and do something, the rest of the stuff, from the manga instead of making up as I go. But, I mean, even though it was just for one week, it still felt like forever. It felt like a thousand years have gone by. And she's like, girl, I just want to know more about Elena and stuff. But it was still good. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 43 i Star started Twinkle Pretty here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday, next Monday. Hopefully next Sunday because I really want to watch the next episode on Sunday instead of waiting because I was extremely tired yesterday. I didn't really want to do anything. So, yeah. Until then, I will either see you guys officially next Sunday or next Monday for episode 44. Bye, guys. Thank you.